Howdy. I'm not sure if anyone's going to be on. I don't normally do a live. I feel a little bit nervous. Um, we'll just see if anyone is on on this bank holiday Monday. Um, and we'll see who is going to join. Um, basically, I thought I would do a little skincare um video i saw laurie do this the other day on life of laurie i don't know if you follow her but she does like uh she did a little video of all the products that she uses um or the, the empties i haven't got all the empties because i generally just chuck them in the bin but having had eczema gone through tsw and with sensitive skin i thought i would show you all the products i use most of which i have used for the last few years um so i just thought i'd whittle through them quickly and save it hopefully if i can work out how to do it um and it might help you because i know sometimes when you're when you've got sensitive skin and you're looking at new products it can be a little bit daunting i found her video really really helpful a few products that she'd shared i was like oh i could probably go with those um all the things that i've shared here i'm going to share with you none of them have got fragrance in or anything like that so um rest assured if you've got sensitive skin or you've had eczema in the past or whatever um they might be good for you um so i don't expect anyone's gonna be watching tonight but i'm hoping to save this um because people are probably having much more fun than this on a bank holiday monday evening but anyway i'll get cracking because um there's a few things in here just to say some of the things i've got here um i have been sent in the past pr products or whatever but nearly everything that i've got in here i have repurchased myself multiple times probably more to, far too many times than i should um so we'll first of all start off um with west lab most of you have seen me use these if you followed me for a while when i was in tsw i literally went through half a packet a day um so they did send me some of these but it was just not enough i literally went through it like no no tomorrow um both this one the himalayan and the dead sea salt were really really good um during TSW and I still use them now. Um, I just had a bath tonight and I whack in a mixture of the both and I find that they really calm the skin and they're just really nice. They're just really gentle, natural um, and you can pick them up in um, most, I think the Holland and Barrett, you can get them online, Boots sell them. But these ones, a lot of the other ranges from West Lab do have perfume in, but these don't. So they're really gentle. Like I say, it won't irritate your skin. Um, the other thing I add in the bath is this. This is from the doctors, Dermal 600, and it's a bath emollient, antimicrobial, um, and I just, it's really good for skin conditions. I whack a capful in, and it just sort of feels like it softens the water a little bit. Um, so that I got on prescription, and I, I just love it. It's really good. I think you can buy it, though, actually. Um, so that's the bath stuff. In terms of skincare, I'll go through this quickly. Um... Dermal, not Dermal, Dermalex. I was sent this via with a PR product as a PR product. Um, it's the Repair and Restore one. I have since bought this. It's probably my fourth one now, and this is my go-to moisturizer that I use most days. Um, it's when you first put it on, the first few applications. Apparently, it stings a little bit, and I did find that it does say it on the box that it can sting a little bit. Um, but you just kind of get used to it, and then it stops after a few days. I don't know why it does it for the first couple of times don't know but it it is really good um it's really good at helping uh, repair the barrier so it's one that i just constantly buy on repeat now you get it from boots and uh, they do do an eczema one but i haven't tried that one yet um but it's just a really nice moisturizer so that one's good um over the last however many years with eczema and having gone through tsw i'm three years in now um i have bought so much of the avene skin recovery um not skin recovery the um zero calm balm i can't i dread to think how much money i've spent on this um i've never had this as a pr product i just generally genuinely love this um the, they do a cream the balm is better in my opinion it goes on better it's a lot smoother it's um it goes a long way it's a sterile bottle as well so there's less chance of infections you know you know um putting it in putting it on, putting your fingers in or whatever, but I do cut the top off when I've got to the end and scrape the last bits out because, you know, get your money's worth. Um, but that's definitely one. If you've got eczema, you can use it from, um, or babies can use it, anyone can use it with um, sensitive skin. 
It's a really nice moisturiser. They also did a skin recovery cream that I used to use like religiously on my face when I had really bad eczema and when um, I was going through TSW. Most people um, going through topical steroid withdrawal or they've got the addicted to steroid creams um, can't handle moisturiser because it makes the skin burn and go red and it did do that with my skin. However, my body I stopped moisturising but my face I still continued to moisturise because I felt like going out and seeing everybody and facing the world felt easier with a moisturised red face that I could put foundation on rather than a really dry face, if that makes sense. So they do a skin recovery cream. This one um, is the Soothing Skin Recovery Balm. Uh, it's slightly different to the one I used to use and it's a nice skin cream, but I, I don't really feel like I need this amount of moisturisation now. My skin's healed or better, um, but it is a really good one to try if you haven't tried this range. Um, Boots do it. They use, sometimes do three for twos as well, but it's one that I definitely would recommend if you've got eczema. Um, yeah. Um, in terms of my face, I still use this. This is the La Roche-Posay Rosalic AR Intense. It's a serum. I think it is more for people with rosacea because it apparently reduces the redness. But I don't know whether it has ever reduced the redness for me. I don't know. But I just love the consistency of the serum. And it's just a really nice one to put on underneath your moisturiser. So that one I consistently buy. I've always got one. It's just a really nice consistency. It's like a, like I say, a serum. It's really nice to go under. So I usually use my hyaluronic, then that, then my moisturiser. Um, you can see it. I don't know if you can see there. It's really nice. So that one I use religiously. Um, this by Typology is like my favourite product, I would say. It's the hyaluronic, uh, plant-based hyaluronic acid 3% and B5. I've tried a few different hyaluronics before and they're really good at locking the moisturiser, at uh, locking the moisture in. But some of them that I've used before have been like quite a watery thin consistency. Whereas this, it's really, um, I don't want to waste it, but it's really sort of thick. So what you do, the trick with hyaluronic when you've got dry skin is you sort of dampen your face a little bit so that your face is a little bit damp. And then you put this on and it basically locks the moisture in. Then you put your moisturiser on the top and it sort of creates a like a seal and um, hyaluronic can hold loads of water. So it draws the moisture from the deeper layers, layers of your skin and it's really good for moisturisation. So this I think has really helped with my recovery from TSW and I will continue to buy this. They do a smaller one, it's not cheap. And obviously because it's typology, they're a French brand, you have to um, pay postage isn't great. So, but they did send it to me originally. I have since then gone on to buy more because I love it and I think I'll have to just keep buying that. Um, eye cream. I never used to really use an eye cream. Specifically, I just used to whack this around my eyes because my eyes do get really sensitive, especially if I've had like a flare up or I'm allergic to something or um, if I've got a food allergy. It always tends to make my eyes puffy. So um, I used to just use the Balmonds, which I'll show you in a minute, but I was gifted this by Dermalogica. It's the Awaken Peptide Eye Gel. It's got caffeine in and it is brilliant. I love it. And I will definitely be repurchasing this when um, it's run out because it's just lovely. It's so nice. You only need a tiny little bit underneath your eyes. First thing in the morning and it will brighten your eyes. Brilliant. I love that one. Um, with Typology, I was sent their cleanser. Um, they've got a seven ingredient cleansing oil from Typology that is 99% naturally derived and I absolutely love this absolutely love it it's really good for taking all your makeup off um and because it's oil based it doesn't dry your skin out the only thing I would say is I need to use quite a lot of it and because it's not cheap um I find I I could do with more so I'm really sort of making the most of that cotton pad with it on because otherwise I'd go through like a bottle every probably every week or so. Um, but it is really good one. It's a really good brand to try if you haven't tried them yet. They, they've got um, like a quiz that you do on online and you tell them all your skin problems and then they suggest certain products, um, which is really good. So that one is one I would definitely recommend. Um, like I say, they did send me it, but I've bought them other versions of 
subsequent af afterwards. Um, and then still with skincare, just quickly, those of you that follow me for ages will know I absolutely love Balmond's. It's like the best thing ever. Literally, I've got one of these in my car, every handbag, in my makeup bag. They, they do little pots of it as well, little tins, and they do bigger ones. But during TSW, I used to just cover myself in this. It's natural. You can use it for everything like tattoo healing, um, insect bites, bed sores, shaving rash, anything, you, you name it, you can use this on. Um, it's just like a little green sort of balm. Um, so I would definitely give that a whirl. It's 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 just brilliant. Um, I've used it on my son's got X on his hand um, and we're always whacking it on and it really helps clear it up. So that one is a good one. They've just recently bought out this one, which is their tea tree balm. It's a similar consistency. It looks very similar, but it smells totally different. It smells like, this one smells like shoe polish, if I'm honest. But um, again, it's natural. This is tea tree and safflower. Um, and it's, it's just an all round balm to have in your handbag. Someone needs a bit of cream, you know, child's got a cracked lip or a sore hand or whatever, you can just whack it on. Um, it was really good for sorting out my chap lips the other day um, from the sun, I've got sunburnt lips. So that was a really good winner. Um, and then the other Balmond's product that I use is the Natural Shampoo and Body Wash. Um, some of their range has actually got lavender in and I don't find I get on very well with lavender. It sort of irritates my skin a little bit. So this one I can use, I don't use it to wash my hair, I just use it as like a shower gel for putting on when you're shaving your legs. I use it for the kids in the shower after swimming to do their hair and their body. Um, it's really gentle and it's, it's a really good brand. Like I say, there's no, there's no, it lists all the things that it hasn't got in, that a lot of products have got in. So no parabens, no perfumes, no paraffin, no SLS. It's brilliant. No mineral oil. Um, I know I'm talking like a million miles an hour here, but I don't want this video to be really long. If you wanted to try any of the Balmon stuff, I do have a discount code where you can get 20% off. Um, it's an affiliate, so I'll earn a very, very small commission. But like I say, if you've followed me for a while, you'll know I've used this stuff for so long and it is tried and tested and I love it. And there's a lot of people in the TSW and the Exma community which will vouch for this as well. Um, so if you know anyone that's got eczema um, or sensitive skin, recommend Balmond's and get them to use my code because they'll get 20% off. Um, where did I get to? I don't know if anyone's actually on. I'm hoping to save this, fingers crossed. I can, don't get it wrong. I feel like I've literally just shouted and spoke really quick at the screen. Um, hair care, oh, hair care. So hair care, as you all know, I love a bit of Olsen. Olsen hair care I've used for ages now. It's really nice because it's got no perfume. I can't really use anything with perfume because perfume scented products always seem to irritate I don't know if now that my skin's a lot better whether I'd be able to tolerate perfume products but I'm too scared to try to be honest so I I'm always fragrance free um so these ones they do a normal to dry and they do a volume range as well shampoo and conditioner they are allergy UK approved um and it's a range that's been formulated by hair professionals and also sort of skincare specialists as well together so um it's just a really good range like when i was going through tsw and had really really sore skin um rather than having to wash my hair over the bath i could use these in the shower in the bath and they didn't irritate so obviously when your skin barrier is broken you want to do as, as little as you can to it to avoid irritating it even more so um shampoos and things like that a lot of shampoos normal shampoos have sls in which is like a foaming agent that makes your shampoo um foam and that's what's really drying so i don't know sometimes when you wash your hair you get a really dry scalp that's the sls in it that is like stripping your skin of moisture which you don't want so um i'd recommend these i've used them for ages and again also you can get 10 percent off with my code which i'll put them in the in the um the comments um you can get 10 percent off across the range so that's the shampoo and conditioner i also use their um leave-in conditioner spray as well it's really good for like knots and dry ends 
I used to be a bit scared of leave-in conditioners, to be honest, because I always used to find that you'd put it in and you feel like you've got to wash your hair again. But um, again, it's fragrance-free. It's really good. I love it. I've got a few of these, swimming bag and everything as well. Um, I just used it on my little niece recently. She's over from Australia. She's got really gorgeous white blonde curls. And I'll share the video. I haven't shared it, I don't think. It's like the which one we'd done. And the difference was incredible, really. Um, they do a, sh a, a hairspray as well. I've used this for ages, years I've used this. Um, I could never use hairspray. It always used to irritate my skin. I'd spray it, it lands on your face, on your skin, and then you'd get irritation. This, I've had absolutely no problems with this. I could spray it and it just gets on your skin and it's it doesn't irritate. Um, no fragrances, no colorants, and it's, it's formulated with sensitive skin in mind. So yeah, love that one. Um, they do a mousse as well. But the mousse, it doesn't foam like a normal mousse. So if you've got curly hair, you can use it and it's good for volume, but it doesn't foam like a huge, like a normal mousse would. But if so if you use it and you think, why is this not foaming? It's 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 just what it's like. Um and then hair care wise, I found this. I was looking for a heat protector, but also one that would protect uh, from UV for on holiday and stuff rather than drying your ends out. Um and I found this on a foreign website nagella and suli total hair protector it's a uv and a heat protector and it's natural heat defense um i can't tell you what it says in the back because it's in a foreign language but um it was the one that i'd found that had the least amount of rubbish in um it does have fragrance in this parf parfum parfum perfume basically um but it's one of the later ingredients on the list so it doesn't have as much I, I put it it's like a cream put it on my hands and then just put it on the ends and I seem to be fine with that um and then I think the last thing sun cream I get asked about sun cream it's probably the most asked question I get about what sun cream to use um my sun my skin used to hate the sun I thought it was the sun that hated that that it hated uh, but actually it was the sun cream I remember I always used to get puffy eyes, rashes. I'd get all, oh, it was horrific. I hated it. Um, but actually my sun, my skin loves the sun. Um, but the sun cream makes such a difference. Like I found this on this, um, is it called Echo Verde website? I think it's called Echo Verde. Um, it's a Officina Naturale. It's a foreign brand. This is Factor 15. It's, it's nickel free as well. Fragrance free for sensitive skin. Um, it's quite thick when you put it on it's quite thick it takes a little while to rub in but it's made such a difference to my skin in the sun so basically oh look Laurie's joined I'm doing a similar thing to you lovely because I really liked your video so um hi um these aren't my empties these are ones that I use all the time basically um I've used for ages but I thought it'd be worth sharing because I found your video really good um found a few things on there that I might check out Anyway, um, the sun cream. So yeah, they do do a slightly higher um, factor. But this, I mean, I've been able to use it on my face, which is major. Like I never used to be able to wear sun cream on my face. I even went through a phase of just wearing a hat and wearing my SPF um, from my makeup. And that was it because I just couldn't bear the thought of putting sun cream on my face. Um, so I will link, I'll try and link as many as I can um, on stories. But that's it, basically. That's all the things I use. Um, hopefully I can share, uh, save this and then I'll be able to share it on my, on my grid. But yeah, there's a few different, um, things on there. If you wanted to try them, if you've got any questions, let me know. But all of this stuff, apart from this, this is new. Um, everything else, oh, this is new, but everything else I have used for ages. So, um, it's tried and tested by me. But if you're going to try any of this stuff, definitely use my d discount code because it all helps. Um, and let me know if you try something and you like it. Obviously, everyone's skin is different. So what might work for me might not work for you. Do patch testing and everything. But um, none of these have anything nasty in really. Um, I know also they do a patch test. So if you wanted to do a patch test of the shampoo, you can order one um, and they'll send it to you. Um, or just let me know and I can get one sent to you. Um, so, so you can try it. But yeah. I hope this has been helpful. If anyone has any questions on the eczema side of things, the food allergies, um, how I managed with TSW, 
even what TSW is. If you're watching this and you've got eczema and you don't know what topical steroid addiction or topical steroid withdrawal is, please send me a message. Um, I've documented most of it on my blog, which I'll link below. I'll put the, the details below as well. It's on my bio. Um, but yeah, it's just about raising awareness of that really, because if it wasn't for Instagram, I would still have horrific skin because I didn't know what TSW was. I thought I just had bad eczema, which I don't, and I didn't. I had eczema and then I treated it with steroid cream and then my skin got addicted to that. So basically, stopped using steroid cream, my skin cleared up, jobs are good in. I think I've probably got the best skin I've ever had in my whole life. Um, and that's not by using anything medicated, nothing from the doctors, despite what they all said. They said I wouldn't get better unless I used steroid creams, but here I am to say that I am. Um, don't get me wrong, I've still got a couple of patches of eczema. I've got a little patch on my hand. My hand, I get a patch here, and in the creases of my elbows sometimes I get a patch, but that is just bog standard eczema. Um, I get sometimes a reaction on my neck, like the other day I touched a kiwi, and I came out in um, eczema and like related rash around my neck. But, you know, those things we can live with, and it's it's sort of, um, cause and effect whereas TSW there was it used to just flare for no reason that I knew of and it was absolute hell on earth um, but if you're watching this and you're going through it I hope that by sharing stories of it and all the people that are in the TSW community they share their stories it helps other people because I knew I know that I looked to other people's accounts who had been through it when I was going through it and it really really helped to know that other people had got through it and they were fine but if you want to know a bit more about it there are some accounts that I can share with you that will help you navigate that if you think that might be something that you're suffering with um but yeah if you've got any questions give me a shout and I'm hoping that I can turn this off now leave you to your monday night and not delete it wish me luck bye now i don't know how to do this